everybody. Welcome to the Horticulture Research Center at the University of Minnesota. I know everybody's anxious to start pruning vines this winter, and it's a nice day, so John and I figured, hey, let's show you how to prune this small vine, this new one, and how to get a new vine established that you planted maybe last year or the year before. Let's turn it over to John, and he's going to show how to prune this vine. And let's get in close down here. I always like to prune these young vines from the ground up. I already know that I like this shoot, this cane, is going to be our good candidate. But down here, we have to make a decision on where we're going to cut it. So, of course, you can see the old wood that's down here. That doesn't need to be anymore. So we get that out of there. And as you can see, we left two shoots this summer because we're on this sandy gravel site here. The vine wasn't so vigorous. So we can get rid of the one shoot and go with the, the main shoot that looks a little bit stronger, but it's, it's not bully. So it's a nice medium strength kind of a growing shoot not too bully not too wimpy kind of just right so the other shoot that grew out of it was attached right down here I'm not sure if you can see that cut but i'm going to cut right close to there and then the rest of this can get removed being very careful not to cut the the, the cane that we want to save right because that's always uh that's always a bummer when we lose our, our cane that we would like. So getting that young shoot out of the way now. And as we go higher and higher on this cane that we're retaining, you're going to encounter a few of these lateral shoots and those can go away. So those are just quick, simple little cuts like so. You got to be careful when you're cutting these laterals that you don't destroy the bud that you want for next year's shoot growth. Okay, so what I'm talking about is right here, if you can see that bud, we want to cut a little bit back from there, but it doesn't have to be a big stub like this. We can, we can get in there a little bit closer because the more wood that we get out of here, the less disease retention, the, uh, the cleaner, the pruning, the better sanitation we have on less fungus and disease going forward, basically. All right, so we're getting higher and higher on this cane cleaning it up we're gonna clip that guy this as we're coming closer to the end of our cane up here obviously we don't want to retain any of this stuff because it's too thin and dead at some point this part froze out before the winter even came but somewhere in here it's going to be nice and alive and since it made its way to the wire and it's got a couple tendrils holding it there we want to take advantage of that for the winter before we have a chance to actually tie it in. So we'll let those tendrils hold it in place like so. I kind of like that. I, if I went back one more or two more, that's not a big deal because basically we're gonna get lots of shoots coming from these buds this coming season if everything survives the winter, right? So we'll be looking at growth coming out of there even all the way down here, but we'll be thinning some of these shoots off during the summer, you know, through the process of uh, desuckering. So um, with that the only job left to do would be to tie it in and I have some ties here that I can just show you real quick. It's not like we do this job at the same time. Typically it's too cold to tie in the winter but I just show you real quick how it looks if we would tie it in something like that and normally I would have ties on hand. I wouldn't steal from the vine but you want to make sure that that stuff is secure and ready to grow next year, right? So there you go, pruning a one-year-old vine, essentially. Okay, so the vine that uh, John just pruned for us was a, a larger vine. Um, and we all know that sometimes vines in the first year might not grow very much. It might've been a dry season. It might've been really sandy soil, like what we have here. So what we have here is we have two canes that survived on this vine. One of them is obviously taller and a little bit healthier than the other one here. This is pretty spindly, but they're both pretty small. And so what that means is we don't want to keep a lot of this weak wood up here because that's never going to establish a strong trunk. It's always going to be weak. We want to cut this down to where the wood is a little bit healthier and thicker. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of this very small spindly cane and I'll go ahead and make that flush as flush as I can. And cut that away. Now with this next vine, we really could cut it down to just a handful of buds at the bottom, but it's not going to do any harm to leave a few extra buds. 
So I'm gonna make a cut about right here, about a foot up from the ground. It's gonna be easier on your back to not have to lean down all the way for every small vine you have to prune. And the other thing is it just gives us more options because the shoot is gonna come out of hopefully each of these buds and then next season we'll make a decision about which one we wanna to keep to establish the trunk. So I've left myself some options here. Now that's basically all we need to do for that small vine and we can move on to the next one.